Hello, everybody. I must tell you that there aren't many cities that have a love of football quite like Glasgow. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you this group stage game from the UEFA Champions League. It's Celtic facing Milan. Well, I can't wait for this one, Derek. We've got a crackling atmosphere, two good teams and a perfect pitch. Let's hope we get a top-class game. It should be. Jude Bellingham. Opportunity it is. Going for the dink. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it, pure brilliance. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the finish is really good. He just dinks it over the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Holland, Holland, and getting across to stop it. Who can they pick out? Struggling to get it away. And an astute piece of defending. Well, back when the draw was made, no one really expected the home side to be quite as competitive. They looked as though they would struggle in this group, Stuart. Yeah, they've looked a good outfit, haven't they? Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And it's come off the keeper. Can they slot it home? Out of play then for a Milan throw. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, who knows? He might be called upon again. Still some defending to do. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. And the corner's been given. Just over the top in the end. And cleared away. And he read it well, intercepting it. And, the, and he might be through here. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And he was flirting with trouble, but the referee has decided not to hand out a yellow card. Let's fly here. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, not... In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. <laughs> to make it 2-0. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Now, options are plenty. He takes aim, and still a chance. 
In it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So the live action continues. It's all Milan. They hold the aces. And attempting the through ball, just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Clean challenge. Gives it a go. Body in the way. A mischievous effort. And a really fine piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm not sure that was the right decision. Easy save in the end. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. That is that for the first half here. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Can he open them up here? Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Well, no shortage of live action coming your way right here on EA TV. And Stuart and I looking forward to being with you for this match. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Holland. Can he find the net? And using his body to good effect. Well, not coming close to hitting the target from there. Well, as the stats confirm, Milan have controlled the ball. And that's been because of their ability to... Oh, Stuart, they must score! Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Oh, what's he gone and done? And fired against the crossbar. And up for grabs off the keeper. Will he? He opted for placement. But it didn't happen for him. This is a message for Tyler Berry. That's Tyler Berry. Can you please make yourself... Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. Well, it was one foul too many. And the referee simply had to blow for the free kick. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. And he stopped them in their tracks. An incisive pass. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside. And that was a shocking miss. And that's an important intervention. Peters. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. A gift for any goalkeeper. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Trying to lob the keeper. And a really fine piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm not sure that was the right decision. Easy save in the end. Given away by Milan. 
and the electronic board showing one additional minute and so the final whistle and all is well for Milan fans everywhere three points for them what did you make of it all? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, it truly was a terrific performance.